What's up? Steve Julian, aspiring hip hop artist, 18 years old from Brooklyn, New York. Holla at me. Well, Double XL, that was a real, that was a real big look. What actually happened? Well, first of all, Double XL is one of the the hugest hip hop magazines out, if not the hugest. And um, that's a magazine I actually look forward to every issue coming out, so I can see what's new, I can see who's hot, and I can see what's bubbling on the hip hop scene and the R and B scene. But um. What actually happened, I put out Live, Love, Learn. That was my last project on July 1st. And they came out with an online article, basically based around an artist named Drake. And it was basically about what mixtapes they, well, that writer would actually pay for. And he posted about eight mixtapes. And my mixtape happened to be one of them, you know, along with some other great up and coming artists that I definitely respect. And um, we'll definitely keep in touch with that with that writer. So look out for a lot of great things with, with me pertaining to that magazine as well. The internet is definitely, definitely helping DJ on Like without the internet, a lot of people wouldn't even know who I was and a lot of artists, but it's definitely helping me. Put up for a minute. I actually um, have been following you and, and your whole movement on right. MySpace right, right. at first. Your following is huge, man. Bless, man. That, that's beautiful. Listen, for all that don't know, New York City, the whole rest of the world, D. Julian is in a building, MC, extraordinary. I'd be disrespecting you if I called you a rapper. Uh, yo, so call me whatever you want. I'm not going to disrespect call you. Whatever, man. Call I mean, as I said, I put out my mixtape, I put it out, my last two mixtapes, I put them out online. And the buzz I've been getting from online has been crazy. Everything I've been doing, all my accolades have been generated because of the internet. You know what I'm saying? Um, all hip hop to the, the OK players to hip hop DX to double um, XL to not right to all these top blog and, and site posting and fans hitting me up on MySpace. It's really, it's really a beautiful thing. The internet is. You know what I mean? It's definitely helping me out. Oh, classmates, I mean, you know what I'm saying? I got this song called Treat Me Different. Now that y'all know me, I can't get them off me. Wait, here's a new twist to the story. I'm getting calls from labels, they adore me. I'm get- you know, um, it talks all about that. Like, at first, when I first started rapping, when I, when I presented them with the idea that I was an artist, you know, everybody was like, yeah, I mean, oh, another rapper, you probably not even all that. And even still, when I was getting, you know, praise from a couple other people, they still was like, he's probably not all that. But, you know, some of them um, came around and they, they started showing a lot of support, which I thank them for. And, um, yeah, it was real it was real, it was was real. real weird sometimes, too, because I would make, you know, sometimes I would make all hip-hop and they frequently visit the websites that I would make. And then they would see me on it and they'd be like, yo, I know that dude. You know what I'm saying? So they come to school and it, it, it all comes full circle. And it was real cool for me. Because that finally showed them that I was really serious and um, I was really actually pursuing this. So, um, in five years, I see myself definitely working towards a Grammy. I feel like, um, what I'll be, I'll be 23. I feel like that's, for me, with the music that I'm making now, I know that I can only evolve and I know that musically I can only get better. And I feel like um, I have a, a way, pro- a more enhanced team that's more committed to a, uh, helping me get to the level where I feel like I need to get. And I feel like I'll be one of the t- main forces in this hip hop industry. Not even hip hop, music general. I feel good in this moment of clarity. Damn, I'm so dope, try to cope with the vanity. I got a new mission, not using profanity. I hope you understand. Um, what keeps me going is life, man. Like everything that goes on, life in general. You know what I'm saying? Um, everything I see, every, everything I make music about is basically everything I see everything I hear, and everything I, I want to happen. You know what I'm saying? So um, life definitely keeps me going. Like My family definitely keeps me going, knowing that I want to have them in a better situation than they're already in. That definitely motivates me. Um, yeah, man, I mean, it's just life in general. That's, that's what should push anybody. Yeah, one thing I want to improve on myself is just um not even myself really, but 
since I am an artist, I just want to improve myself musically. Every day I strive to be better on the mic, you know, just like every great, you know, Michael Jordan, every day he strive to be better on the court. You know, um, Ali strive to be better at boxing every day. That's what I want to be. At the end of the day, I mean, I know I'm upcoming right now, but at the end of the day, my vision, I want to be the best. I want to be one of the best ever. So in order to do that, every day I got to work on my craft. Every day I got to write a different song. Every day I got to work on my lyrics. Every day I got to get a new vision. And I feel like when I do that, what I said about winning the Grammy won't be too far-fetched. I was like, all right. And I went to his MySpace page, I saw the picture, and he looked like 10 years old. That's what I remembered. I'm like, yo, how old is this kid? So I listened to it, and I was like, wow, okay. So that was definitely a lesson for me in not judging a book by its cover. Definitely learned that um, <laughs> if you're a good guy in this music industry, man, you got to really fend for yourself a lot. You know, and also um, don't, don't hold... Don't put your career in, in the hands of another man or another woman or whatever the situation is um, because there's a lot of people try to sell you a lot of dreams and a lot of the times they really don't have, you know, a lot of the connections that they say they do. They're just taking you along for the ride. So just be true to yourself. I guarantee you if you be true to yourself, that's the one thing I learned from this music industry. If you be true to yourself, the doors will open up. Advice to upcoming artists will probably be, um, will definitely be, just stay on your toes, have confidence, be persistent, um, have a good team behind you, and most importantly, make great music that's true to you. Don't try to be um, something that you're not within your music. Don't be one way in real life and then come on, think you could just do something else as an artist. Um, true music listeners and true music lovers really see through that. And also, don't just be an artist because you feel like it's the new thing to do. It's the end thing to do because it's the new trend. Be an artist because you actually love it. And I guarantee you, if you just do it because you actually love it instead of the money and the glitz and all that, if you love it genuinely, I guarantee you all that other stuff will come if you just make dope music and you have a good team behind you, man. I'll say, I'll say two people that I really look up to, my mother and my father. You know, they definitely, they work real hard, so. Just watching them work real hard just inspires me to work even harder than they work. Because I want to, um, as I said it earlier, I want to be able to have my family in a better position than they are in. You know, not just my parents, but, you know, my whole family. So um, just watching them, you know, actually got a line on one of my songs that I say, my mom's worked the nine to five, pops worked the eight to four. Main reason why I spit these bars. I don't want to have my parents ever work no more, so I'm a grind till the day I leave the surface, Lord. You know what I'm saying? And those four lines, it really sums it up. Like, my, my mom's been working eight hours a day for ever since I've been born, and my pop's the same. And uh, I feel like um, with this craft, it's not even about the money. First thing for me is the respect, but, you know, the money will come. And I feel like um, they deserve to be in a better position, and I, and I feel like it's my duty after all they've done for me in my lifetime to do that for them. I can guarantee that you won't find an identical. Why? I'm so unorthodox, so unconventional. I'm so professional, crazy, but so sensible. These rappers sound terrible. They too one-dimensional. They far from their pinnacle. Forget being subliminal. I'm obviously sick and these rappers are subclinical. They say you can't be perfect and it ain't really worth it, right? I do the best I can to perfect my jams, come on.